point, I made 30 in a row. And, you know, then I just started going in stretches where I just wouldn't miss. Then the game day come, you know, before the game, I'm making all my free throws. Then getting the game and start missing, you know. And then after the game, I was like, oh, it's my fault we lost. If I would have made just one free throw, we would have won. But, you know, then, like, you know, God just kept saying, you know, keep believing. Don't stop believing. Well, he hits one of two first time tonight. The ironic thing, he'd really been much improved on the free throws, but all he had to do was make one there, and it would have been the difference probably between a win and a loss. As Bill Parcell says, there's no medals for trying. Shot clock at four. Luke Walton misses. Five seconds remaining in the quarter. Petrus lines up for three. And that will end the first quarter. Started well for Orlando. Uh, Kobe Bryant caught fire a bit. Once again, third straight game. He's in double figures in the first quarter. But despite all this pretty moves from Kobe Bryant, the Orlando Magic, an excellent job sharing the ball. Six different players have already scored. Good balance on offense, and they lead by two. Jackson, penetration, whether off the pass or off the dribble, is something you say is a problem. How do you contain what they're doing offensively? Well, they're getting real good uh, penetration transition, but when they're in their sets, they're getting the ball swung and looking inside, and that's creating a problem for us right now. The expectation was a resilient Magic team would come at you hard defensively. What do you think of how your offense is responding right now? You know, offensively, we're all right. We had some turnovers that were hurt us. That's not, not typical of who we are. That gave them the runouts that they needed to get ahead of here. Coach, thank you. All right, Doris. He is coaching his 300th playoff game tonight. That's more playoff games than 25 franchises has played. Just an incredible number. And obviously, a victory tonight or in game six or seven would be his 10th NBA championship. One more than the great late Red Auerbach. As Howard dumps it in. And that may be the best move I've ever seen Dwight Howard make. That was a big-time post move. Comfortable, confident, and made a, a big-time shot. I co-signed that because he gave that little dream half spin and came back to a strong right-hand jump hook. Very good play. Odom off the mark. And I like that defensive play of not trying to block the shot. Of staying at home, making Odom have to make that runner versus open up the offensive board. Nelson steps back, can't get it to go. Tony Petit keeps it alive. In the game now, Sasha Vujicic, Jordan Farmar, Luke Walt, Bynum and Odom. So just one starter out there, it's Bynum. Vujicic. Walton hasn't played a lot of minutes, but when he's played, he's played well. Farmar, open look, in and out. Bynum, another rebound, he's fifth. Bynum able to stay on the floor and stay out of foul trouble. Seems like the first time in a long time. Howard being aggressive on him. Bynum, nice move, goes right at him. Six points, five rebounds for Andrew Bynum. We are watching two big guys that are going to be around for a long time to come. Howard spins and gets it to go. He wanted a foul. And rightfully so, he got hit. But those are three consecutive post plays, and it just shows you the advantage of being able to drop the ball into the post and get a quality shot against one-on-one -on -one coverage. Vujicic still looking for his first points of the finals. Last year, such an important part of their play in the finals as we have a moving screen. It's on Odom, and that's the fifth turnover for the Lakers. The way Dwight Howard is looking on the block, I'm the Magic. I get him the basketball again. You're talking about a big-time move. Misdirection, spinning back, able to finish. And then demanding the ball, great position, little dream shake. The jump hook over a contested Andrew Bond. That's, that's, that's great basketball. And that wasn't bad defense either. That was, that was just good basketball. The T again. Howard gets it, goes up, shot's good, and a foul. Nice pass from Batie, and Howard finishing tonight. Again, Andrew Batie has done the best job so far throwing the high-low pass. 
Good pick and roll, rotation, good catch. And again, just a small thing. Howard kept the ball up higher than he normally does. He didn't get bent over with his back over the ball, got rid of it, account quicker. And you see how I snap my fingers to give you that account quicker, that emphasize account quicker. The problem is I'm the only guy that saw it. <laughs> there should be a camera focused just on us. <laughs> oh, please, no. <laughs> we are eye candy, too. <laughs> you and that lizard? <laughs> the Geico guy? <laughs> Odom. I think the Geico or the Gecko looks better than me. Bynum. Not that time. Boy, Bynum, he's taken 11 shots already. And I'm sure if you're the Orlando Magic, you don't mind that statistic. That means those are shots being taken away from Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol. And Jameer Nelson stepped out of bounds. Nelson turns it over. That's still been a hot topic here in Orlando about Nelson playing. And Ray for Alston sitting down the stretch. Anthony Johnson not playing at all. Stan Van Gundy has said all along the key to his decision on Nelson playing was how he would develop as the series went on. And maybe by the time you get to game four or five, it'll help you win a game because he has not been, and he expected this, he has not been himself so far. He had a good stretch in the fourth quarter of game four. To me, that's what the question comes down to. Did he play well? Vujicic, not even close, but did he play well in that stretch? And he did. And if he would have just guarded the three, no one would have been questioning. They had been talking about how he led the team to victory. It's always about the result you get. Three and a half gone by here in the second. Odom. Nice reverse play. Lamar Odom and a chance for a three-point play. The long arms of Lamar Odom with the sweeping shot. Well, Lamar Odom's as good off the dribble as any power forward in this league. A great finish. And then Dwight Howard, again, more post efficiency, good half shake, good high-low catch, kept it up a little bit higher. Good basketball by both teams. The NBA, which is all over the world, as we always find out firsthand during the NBA Finals. The global reach, 215 different countries are watching the NBA Finals in 42 different languages. Every year just seems to get bigger and bigger. And how about all 215 countries trying to get on TV, <laughs> waving their hands at our cameramen? Come on, everybody's like seeking their day in the sun. <laughs> A fine contingent as Odom completes the three-point play. Odom has had subpar numbers the last couple of games, but again, his defense, he's part of the defense that have, has helped frustrate Dwight Howard. Petrus the fake. Two-pointer for Michael Petrus, his second field goal. The Magic are doing a very good job of moving the basketball, trusting one another and not settling. That time, Petrus in the corner, one dribble pull-up jump. Four minutes gone by here in the second. A five-point Orlando lead. Trying to send this finals back to Los Angeles. Kobe Bryant and the finish. The explosion at the end, and again, he's flexing his right hand after that play. Looked like he was upset that Petrus was defending him too close. That's how you make a statement. He's four of seven from the field. Nelson, no hesitation that time. He's watching him, and again, you almost expected it. He's been hesitant to look for his shot. That's one of the first times he caught it and shot it right away. That's because he knows he's coming out. That's an NBA player right there. <laughs> Odom hits the three. Odom's knocked down a bunch of threes during the course of this postseason. Ray Frost, by the way, is at the scorer's table, ready to come in for Nelson. Nice feed. Marks in Gortat. Finishes it up. Listen, both teams are getting whatever they want right now. The Magic doing it with the pick and roll. The Lakers doing it off Kobe Bryant. Orlando shooting 54% from the field. Single coverage. Nelson looking to help. Bryant leans in. Backer won't go. Rebound taken by Nelson. Nelson, dangerous pass. 
Gordon sitting out for four months after surgery on his shoulder. Finds Gortat inside, blocked by Gasol. Bryant goes right at Lewis. Shots blocked, knocked out of bounds. Magic ball.